What's up, everybody? It's Hassan James from Root Magazine, and I'm here with um, emerging gospel artist Anthony Ponder. What's up, Ant? Hey, man. How you doing? I'm great. Um, how have you been doing during this, you know, quarantine? Doing something like this, you know, maybe uh, seven, eight months ago was you have a packed house and all of that stuff, but now we're um, still in COVID season. Everybody needs to recognize that. Um, how, how have you been doing, man? Uh, firstly, I'm trying to keep my sanity. Yeah. <laughs> That's number one. Uh, but in terms of music, it's, uh, it's quite different. It's completely different for us. Obviously, we're not in front of people anymore. And to be honest with you, I feel like uh, we're no longer uh, music producers and uh, musicians. We're video producers. Because, yeah. I mean, we got to do so much, all of this, to, um, to meet people where they are because of everything, so it's changing, it's yeah. changing. Absolutely, um, and for those who may not know who Anthony Ponder is, you know, of course I know, and uh, especially a lot of people in the Northeast, you guys have uh, made your claim here in the Northeast and in Southern parts. Um, let people know who Anthony Ponder Ministry Desires is. Um, man, we started about 10 years ago. Um, we're called APMD for short, which is Anthony Ponder and Ministries Desire, um, like you said. Ministry's desire just simply means that ministry is our desire. When I started the group, I wanted to make sure the heart of God and, and, and our, and our uh, intent was really clear. So that's why it's called Ministry's Desire and that's what this Ministry's Desire means. Okay, okay. And uh, your album, uh, The Process, I find it very uh, interesting now because you're working actually on a, on a new project mm -hmm. and you're out in the process really really great solid piece of work man Thank you so much. and uh you're kind of doing it i guess reimagining mm -hmm. i guess doing the, the reprocess what does this song the process mean to you i listened to it the other day and it seems like it's very timely especially for for what we've been going through what does that song mean to you the process um well first of all the process was birthed out of uh being full, tr fully transparent, just frustration with God. Um, you know, I grew up in church, so, you know, I was prophesied to as a young kid. Uh, you know, you hear the voice of God as you grow older, you hear people affirm and confirm things. And it's that, it became that place where I said, God, well, you promised this, you said this, but when is this going to happen? It's I, I've been holding on for a long time. I've been waiting, I've been believing, I've been trusting, but God, I need this manifestation now. Mm -hmm. So it's funny because, it, you know, God always begins with the ending. So he shows us, you know, the big picture. He shows us the big house and, and whatever it is that he's promised us, but he never tells us the, the middle part, the, the frustrating part, the part where we have to wait, the part where, uh, you know, things just don't make sense, the part where we're going through. And so, and, and it's funny because the reason why he doesn't is because if he told us what we had to go through in order to get to promise, we probably wouldn't do it. So God begins with the ending first. Um, and with that being said, it's that, it's that middle part. We, we, he starts with A, we end with C, which is the manifestation, but that B part, man, that middle part, it's frustrating. And, and we lose our patience. Um, and so that's what the process is. The process is my conversation to God saying, God, when is this going to happen? And it is a, it's a new stance saying, God, you know what? At the end of the day, I trust you. Uh, I believe what you told me. Um, and it's not easy. And the main line of the song is, it doesn't feel good, but I know it's for my good. So I'm changing my posture in the middle of the song saying, God, like, hey, you promised me this, but you know what? I know that you have my best interest at heart. So I'm gonna trust you through this process. And you know, the encouragement to the people, anyone listening to it becomes, hey, don't be frustrated in the process, but now begin to embrace the process. Mm. I like that. Now, um, I hear you have some surprises on this reprocess. Yes, sir. Uh, tell us a bit about that. Man, we got some, I, I mean, these are people that I've, um, you know, I admire greatly. And I'm really honored that they said yes to working on this project. So we have uh, Daryl Walls uh, from The Walls. He's a singer, man. He's a singer, singer. Singer, singer. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I'm really super, you gotta hear, I mean, you know, these people make magic. Um, we have Crystal Rucker on the record. Um, Lena Bird Miles, oh my God, sheesh. Man, look at that. <laughs> I mean, the magic she made, man, it's, um, I'm so excited. And last but not least, uh, 
person I could think of is Lisa Page Brooks, man. A legend. Amazing legend. Yeah. So, I mean, good, man. It's, it's going to be amazing. It's right. going to be absolutely amazing. I'm looking forward to it, man. Um, what, you know, during this climate, especially in gospel music, um, it's like a smorgasbord. You have your praise and worship, of course, you have your worship artists, you have choirs now that's making a, a big comeback. Yes. Um, and you guys, sound is, how do you classify your sound and where do you fit in the scope of, of, of the gospel industry right now? I'll, I'll put it like this. I, I think my major musical influences would be Donald Lawrence, firstly. So um, a lot you'll hear a lot of his influences in terms of his sound. Um, with the group, I have my group is uh, is composed of like main lead singers. So the sound is going to be really clear, um, and and I mean I just have incredible singers. Let me just shout them out. I mean I have amazing singers. So it's an ensemble of about nine at the most. You'll see us travel journey with six. But it's definitely a groupy sound. Um, I'm really into uh, freedom of vocals. A groupy sound, not groupies. <laughs> be clear about that. Groupy sound. Groupy sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm really into that, and you'll hear it. And um, I'm, I work with the best, so I really got to shout out my, my singers. Um, I, they make the sound. It's, yeah. it's not me. So. Wow, that's dope. All right, so right now you're about to get an exclusive Anthony Ponder and Ministry Desire the Process video right here. <laughs> 